collective participation, again, for displaying your collective knowledge. And I also want to thank our invited guests on the stage here today for coming, spending their day with us. And I, I'll let the, the, the principal of Dance Middle School talk a little bit more about why this is such a special day for Barrington Urban when he comes up a little later. And so with that being said, again, welcome to Davis Middle School. Welcome to Compton Unified's inaugural STEM Day. This will occur each and every year. And they have a wonderful day today. I want to bring back up Mr. Flores, who's the principal of Davis Middle School. Mr. Flores, please, sir. Thank you, Dr. Davis. I'm going to bring up Mr. Pengrave to talk a little bit about the people who he has invited and has brought to this event. And like we continue to say, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is important and it is the future. So as we move forward, a lot of the common core, a lot of the questions, inquiry-based, engineering standards, that is what we are going to focus on with projects. So I'd like everybody to give Mr. Pengrave a round of applause, please, as he comes up and he introduces his invited guest. Davis Middle School. Okay, first I'm going to tell you about this guy to my right. But before I do, I want to see... Okay, check it out. So Barrington's a pilot, Levi's a pilot, and I'm a pilot. And we've got pilots over here, right? So, to be a pilot, you have to have really good powers of observation. So, I want to test Davis Middle School's powers of observation. Because there's a rumor going around Los Angeles that the kids in Davis and the Compton Unified School District are some of the smartest kids in the country. Okay, so, first I need a volunteer. Okay, see that girl way back there in the blue shirt? Right there, her, stand up. Right there, yeah, her. No, 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 the one in front, right there. Yeah, you, come up here. Come on up, hurry up, come on. Okay, so I want to test your powers of observation, okay? But I'm going to introduce my good friend, Mr. Levi Thornhill. Come on, hurry up, let's go. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. To be a pilot, you got to be on time. Come on, both of you. <laughs> Come on up here. Okay, now stand right there. And you stand right there. Okay, now, I'm going to... Test your powers of observation. You ready? Da 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 no, 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 let me see. We'll try this again, okay? I was singing. That was close. Come on, Tess. Okay, here we go. Da 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 I got it out of my pocket. Oh man, you guys are so close. Okay, check it out. What just happened is something that's going to happen to each and every one of you every day for the rest of your life. Every day, you are going to meet somebody that has something that you want or need. And they're prepared to give it to you if you are ready to seize that opportunity. Sometimes being ready to seize the opportunity is as simple as showing up. If you didn't come to school today, would they have gotten 20 bucks each? Sometimes being prepared to accept an opportunity is as simple as raising your hand. If, you, if they did not raise their hand, would they get 20 bucks each? In other words, participate. Pay attention, ask questions, show up in school, show up on time. These are all things that get you prepared to accept opportunities. Okay, go ahead, sir. 
Yeah, that's right. They got 20 bucks. So when you